Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager, Sunshine Resources. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do your measurement in your liquid soap production or any other kind of household product that you want to make. And so before I proceed, let me say here that if you are new to this channel, I suggest you click on the subscription button so that you do not miss any of our videos each time we upload them. I have noticed that many people who want to go into liquid soap production or any other kind of household product are finding measurement of chemicals very difficult, especially when it comes to unit conversion. And so before I proceed, let me talk about the unit of measurement, especially as it relates to unit conversion. As you must have noticed, production chemicals comes either as solid or liquid. Now, if it comes in solid form, here our metric system of measuring solid materials is using kilograms or grams. Now, other countries use units like pounds or ounces. Most of the time, when I see solid chemicals whose weight is calibrated in ounces or pounds, I have to convert them to grams or kilogram. Now, talking about conversion, I'm going to show you how to convert from kilograms to grams because this is where most people find it very difficult. The first item we will learn at this moment is 1000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram. Now this also infer that 2000 gram is equal to 2 kilogram. It also means that 3000 gram is equal to 3 kilogram. And I'm sure you can do the rest. 4000 gram is equal to 4 kilogram, right? This looks so easy. I'm sure you'll get it right if I said 5000 gram is equal to 5 kilogram, right? Okay. Now let's move on. All right, we have just learned that 1000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram. Now let's let's reverse it. Okay? Let's reverse. Okay? That means we will say 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram. It's the same thing. I just reverse it. Okay? 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do now is that I'm going to introduce you to fraction. We're going to fractionalize this now, okay? Take for example, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. Okay, for example, I'm going to say 1 over 2 kg is equal to 1000 over 2 gram. Okay? Now, this is half kg. This is half. 1 over 2 kg means half of kg. Now, let's work this out. Half kg, that is 1 over 2 kg, is equal to 1000 over 2. That is 500 gram. So, half kg is equal to 500 gram. Now, you can take it up from here. Half kg is equal to 500 gram. Now let's proceed. What if we divide it by 3? For example, we say 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram. And then we divide it by 3. That is 1 over 3 kg is equal to 1000 over 3 gram. 1 over 3 kilogram is equal to 1000 over 3. And 1 over 3 kilogram is equal to 333.3 three, three gram. If you divide 1000 by 3, you're going to get 333.3 three gram. So 1 over 3 kg is equal to 333.3 three, three, three gram. Okay? Now, what if we say 1 over 4 kg? Now, which is the same as writing 1000 over 4. So, 1 over 4 kg is equal to 
1000 over 4 is equal to 250 gram. So 1 over 4 kg is 250 gram. Now, what if we divide by 5? Now, in the same way, 1 over 5 kg is the same thing as writing 1000 over 5 gram. So 1 over 5 kg is equal to, if you divide 1000 by 5, you're going to get 200 gram. Okay? 1 over 5 kg is the same thing as 200 gram. Okay. Now, let's divide it by 6. So, we will now say 1 over 6 kg is equal to 1000 over 6 gram. So 1 over 6 kg is equal to, if you divide 1000 by 6, you will get 166.6 gram. Okay, likewise when you divide 1 over 7 kg is equal to 1000 over 7 gram. Okay, now 1 over 7 kg is equal to 1000 divided by 7 is equal to 142.8 gram. 1 over 7 kg is equal to 142.8 gram. Now let's, let's proceed now by dividing it by 8. 1 over 8 kg is equal to 1000 over 8 gram. So 1 over 8 kg is equal to, if you divide 1000 by 8, you will get 125 gram. Now let me emphasize on this 1 over 8 kg, okay? Because most of the time, some of the liquid soap chemicals are measured using this quantity, 1 over 8 kg, 1 over 8 kg. Now, that 1 over 8 kg is equal to 125 gram. Now, for you to be able to understand this very well, you will have to have a weighing scale. Now, you have to have a weighing scale for you to be able to do this measurement, a weighing scale that is calibrated both in kilogram and grams, okay? Try to get a weighing scale that is calibrated both in kilogram and grams. Now, the next issue we're going to talk about is measurement of liquid substances. Liquid substances. Some liquid soap chemicals and even other production chemicals are in liquid form. You should be able to measure their quantities in the liquid form. Now, liquid substances are measured in centimeter cube, millimeters, cubic liters, and liters. Now, sometimes this unit can be very confusing as many people find it very difficult to understand. Now, let me start this way. In the classroom or in the science laboratory, most of us are familiar with centimeter cube as the unit of measurement of volumes of liquid substances or gases. Now, but the funny thing is that when you leave the classroom, when you go outside the classroom, for example, you go to the market, you will find out that centimeter cube is not used. If you go to the water board, for example, the city water supply, and you ask them what quantity of water do they supply to the community, they will mention something like 2,000 cubic liters of water was supplied to the community in the last one month. And sometimes you find this unit very confusing. Now, let me start this way. 1,000 cm cube is equal to 1 thousand milliliters okay 1000 cm cube is equal to 1000 milliliters okay now in the same vein 
you will agree with me that 2000 cm cube is equal to 2000 milliliters. Okay? Now, 1000 cm cube is equal to 1 liter. Okay? 1000 cm cube is equal to 1 liter and is also equal to 100 cubic liter cl 1000 cm cube is equal to 1 liter and is equal to 100 cubic liter now let me let me emphasize more this also means that 2000 cm cube is equal to 2 liters okay and is equal to 200 cubic liter cl okay this also means that 3000 cm cube is equal to 3 liters and is equal to 300 cl now the next thing i'm going to do is to use fraction to express this okay i'm going to use fraction to express this unit now just like we have learned in the past just like we have learned before 1000 cm cube is equal to 1000 milliliters and this is also equal to 1 liter is also equal to 100 cubic liter okay now let's fractionalize this let's turn this into fraction for example we have 1000 cm cube divided by 2 is equal to 1000 mil divided by 2 and is equal to 1 liter divided by 2 okay and is equal to 100 cubic liter divided by 2 so now this becomes 500 cm cube equal to 500 mil equal to half a liter okay and is equal to 50 cubic liters can you see that 500 cm cube is equal to 500 mil and is equal to half a liter and is equal to 50 cubic liter so from what we've done so far it means that half a liter is equal to 500 mils and is equal to 500 cm cube and is equal to equal to 50 cubic liters we can also say here that 500 mil is equal to 50 cubic liter okay it is also right to say 200 mil is equal to 20 cubic liters 700 mil is equal to 70 cubic liters so you can get measuring devices like uh, beakers, conical flask, measuring cylinder for you to be able to get this measurement right. So we've come to the end of this lesson today. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our website on www.sunshireresources.org.ng. You can visit our YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Sunshire Resources SRTV. You can also follow us on our Facebook page on Sunshine Resources. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.